It was a big day today for uh, utilities. Um, the Obama administration through the Environmental Protection Agency released new rules, uh, proposed rules for uh, greenhouse gas emissions for existing power plants. The EPA wants a 30% cut in these carbon, carbon emissions by 2030 and it suggested what it calls a flexible state framework um, for states to meet those goals. Um, in Oklahoma specifically, it would be a 35% reduction by 2030 for us. Uh, partly that's because of the, the amount of coal that we use now at our power plants. We talked to Oklahoma's Secretary of Energy and Environment, Michael Teague, uh, who's been working with the administration and other stakeholders in Oklahoma on the rules um, up to this point. He said that he was encouraged by the flexibility offered to the states, but uh, that the devil's in the details and that uh, they're still kind of going through the 645 page uh, of proposed rules. The political reaction on these rules has been across the board. Um, our state attorney general, Scott Pruitt, has um, kind of blasted the rules a little bit, saying that they're, they're not legal and that the Congress needs to give EPA ex more authority to do this kind of uh, regulation. He also proposed um, an additional framework from his perspective that would cut emissions at power plants rather than what the EPA is proposing across the whole system of utilities and, and states. Um, our Senator uh, Jim Munhoff also didn't like the rules. He's kind of a, a long-time opponent of um, some of the climate change uh, science that's been out there uh, that's linking some of these carbon emissions to um, higher incidence of, of severe weather across the country. The EPA wants uh, utilities to kind of take a flexible approach to complying with these rules. Um, it said it could uh, probably either phase out coal plants, uh, it could replace coal plants with uh, additional gas fired units or uh, increase efficiency. Uh, also another option would be states uh, putting more renewable energy out there on their portfolio which be wind or solar energy and also uh, possibly join up with other states to kind of average across those redu emissions reductions uh, in a region rather than taking a state-by-state -state approach. Right now it's too early to say exactly how Oklahoma will, will comply uh, these are still proposed rules. The EPA is taking comments on them for a period of time and um, wants to finalize them by this time next year in June. And then uh, states would have to submit their plans by June of 2016.